so good morning friends welcome to edu hub so this is session 3 and part 1 of the session 3 it's completely very easy session and in this session we we'll learn uh, few, three four things first is uh, depends on how you turn second is uh, love hate and marriage third is making friends with suffixes fourth is living alone and liking it so coming to the first part depends on how you turn so there are three words in this first is introvert second is extrovert and third is ambivert okay they are, uh, these three words are built on the latin verb verto verto means turn so if your thoughts are constantly turn inwards so you are an introvert and if your thoughts are constantly turn outwards then you are out extrovert and if your thoughts are in both the directions that is uh, inwards as well as outwards so they are in both the directions so in this type uh, you say that uh, your personality type is ambivert so the prefix amb both is found in uh, it is found in ambidextrous too uh, ambidextrous it means that if uh, if a person is able to use both his hands with equal skills so if a person if he is using his right hand he is dextrous and if he is using his left hand he is sinister okay so sinister it's a uh, the same a uh, latin word for left hand people and dextrous uh, mean meaning right hand people okay so uh, dextrous uh, these uh, these these are the four five words and the root words as well as which you keep which you have to keep into the mind okay <clears throat> now coming to the uh dextrous like i have explained you that like dexter is actually the latin word for right hand and the right hand is traditionally the more skillful one it is the only one with recent decades that we have come to accept that lefties or uh are just a normal as well uh, like as normal as anyone else so uh like uh, the latin word as i said the left hand uh, the latin word for left hand is sinister and the french word for left hand is gauche okay so as and as you would suspect when we took this word over into english we investigated like it is it was an uncomplimentary meaning okay call someone gauche gauche okay so as you imply clumsiness and gauche it usually implies clumsiness general so social rather than physical and uh, the french word for right hand is droid okay french word for right hand people is droid and um, yeah the, uh, this these are the uh, section, uh, these are the part which was uh, which was included in the first uh, first uh, depending on how you turn second is love hate and marriages uh love hate and marriages so here there are three words first is misanthrope second is misogynist and third is misogamist okay these words are built on the greek word the greek root which means hate misen misen means to hate okay so a misanthrope is a person who hates mankind and a, a misogynist is a person who hates women and misogamist is a person who hates marriage okay so anthropes meaning mankind and it is found in anthropology and the study of the development of human race and in philan philanthropist is a person who practices like who who is much into charitable organizations or he likes to donate he is a philanthropist who loves mankind and he likes to help people now coming to the third part which is making friends with suffixes so in english we have various words forms and usage of these words so in this uh, we will use this exercise uh, like making friends with suffixes so for english words which has various forms using certain suffixes for noun referring to person referring to persons other suffixes for practices attitudes philosophies etc and still other for objectives adjectives okay so first word is misanthrope or misanthropist or like a person who loves mankind okay so uh, no sorry uh misan misanthrope is a person who hates mankind sorry yeah uh so he, the person who practices misanthrope like uh, is no uh, the adjective for misanthrope is misanthropic 